welcome back. At exactly 10 a.m. this morning, students from across the U.S. and even parts of the world will walk out of their classrooms for 17 minutes, one minute for each victim of the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman at Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. While some students have turned their grief into action with walkouts, others have advocated to walk up with fellow students during school talks with educators today on how to keep our schools safe. One district that is encouraging students to participate through active discussions is Great Falls Public Schools. Joining me this morning are two students, Mariah Bosley and Noah Taroski from CM Russell High School. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. So first of all, I'd ask, like to ask you why you have chosen to take action today, either by staying in school or by walking out. Um, well, basically, I chose to take action because I thought, I think that this is a bigger issue than a state and even a local level. It seems like we have, um, a problem in the schools and we have a problem that is happening nationwide and there must be steps to take it and I don't think that staying in schools and talking about it with our classmates and even the administrators at our school is really sufficient to fixing this problem because it is a bigger than a state level and it's a bigger than a school district level. Okay. Yeah, um, I think that I support your right to protest and all but I don't think this is a very efficient way to make a change. I think like walking out, that's great if you want to do that, but I don't think it's going to change anything. And if, if you're protesting guns, like I'm pro-gun, but if you're protesting school safety, yes, I think that's an issue, but I don't think walking out is going to really change anything. Sure. So you've chosen to participate in, in the school discussion today? Mm-hmm. Okay. So Noah, what do you gain or what do you hope to gain from walking out, the, just the physical act of walking out? What does it mean to you? Well, basically what I'm trying to do when I walk out is I'm trying to show my legislators, even my state and even my like federal level federal legislators that I really do want change and in a year I'll be able to vote and so right now I don't have any power to do anything but once I in one year I can go talk to my legislators I can even run for legislator and I can show this is what I want to happen this is what I think needs to happen in the status quo okay and uh, one question for you Marissa you're staying in to talk with educators fellow students today what is one point that you hope comes across in discussions um, and what do you hope the discussion will accomplish well I think this is more of a safety issue than a gun issue I think that the shooting could have been easily prevented if we would have had better like security and I just hope that we can talk about that because I see that even in like CMR like anybody can just walk in and through the doors and like it could easily happen here and I think that's our biggest issue Sure, so this is a question for both of you. What, in your opinions, is the most effective way to bring about change for school safety? I think the most effective way to bring about change is to seek the federal level and seek federal regulation because nationwide there's this problem and we can see, even though Montana hasn't had this kind of drastic shooting, we have had students who have like, killed themselves in the bathroom at our own school. And so I think that there has to be some kind of change, whether it start at state level and go to federal level, but some kind of restrictions or some kind of thing to help stop that. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree. I think you should definitely talk to someone of higher power and you should try to get like right, get right in there and um, express how you want to feel and like go through with that. I just don't think that walking out's like a mature way to put about that. Okay, and yeah. another question for you both. Do you um, both feel encouraged seeing other students across the nation and even the world today, you know, focused on this issue, um, participating in different ways as you two are walking out or other, otherwise joining discussions about school safety? Yeah, I think it's, it shows how, I mean, my, my father's been in the district for almost 15 years, and he said that this is like the biggest change that he's seen the entire time he's been here. So I think it's definitely, it's definitely something that's different. There's something different about it today versus any other demonstration that we've done before. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I really like how everyone's joining together to try to make a change. I might not necessarily agree with like the way they're going about it, but I really like all the support. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Now, just talking with fellow um, students and educators at CM Russell High School, how has the environment been leading up to today? Has there been a lot of um, controversy over um, the fact that maybe students will be marked absent if they do choose to walk out? There, I don't feel like there's been a lot of controversy, but it's, for me, it seems like the administrators have had kind of a negative feel towards the whole aspect of wash, walking out. And so they've been, it, it feels like to me that they've been like actively discouraging students to do this. 
And so I feel like a lot of students are not participating because there's like these repercussions that the administrators have brought up. Yeah, like they have like uh, 17 days of kindness, which I think is great, but I don't really think they should be able to tell us like how we can and can't like show our like support. And they've been really discouraging walking out, which if anything, I think people will probably do more. That's sure. kind of a rebellious thing, but mm -hmm. they've yeah, been really negative about it. Great. Well, thank you both for being here um, on the set this morning to talk about this issue. Um, your activities, again, they, they start at 10 o'clock. Each school will be doing a different activity, it seems, in the district, but again, focusing on the same issues on how to bring about change. We'll have coverage tonight at 5.30 and 10 on the school walkouts and school activities as well. Thank you guys both for being well, here thank again. Thank you. Thank you.